Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to present our work on contention management with deterministic concurrency control. So this work builds on a lot of related works in deterministic databases and contention management, as discussed in the paper. But briefly, deterministic concurrency control is a given a predefined serial order for a batch of transactions. The database executes them concurrently while inferring the outcome is consistent with the serial order. For example, let's say we have two transactions, T1 and T2. They execute concurrently, but the database must ensure the serial order is T1 before T2. And this serial order is established before T1 and T2 execute. And this is why we call this deterministic. There are two ways you can build deterministic databases. The first design is share nothing design. In this design, we partition the data. We assign data partitions to cores. We split transaction into pieces so that each piece access only one data partition. And then we, uh, we schedule these pieces to the assigned board. This design avoids contention, but skewed data access can cause load imbalance and significantly slow down the performance. Another design is shared memory design. In this design, all transactions can access all data so that the database can schedule transactions across course. In this design, it's much easier to handle skew. However, cross core data accesses causes contention and can also slow down the performance. So our solution is to use a shared memory database to avoid skew, and then we can reduce contention by efficiently parallelizing and reordering data accesses. And we can do this because in deterministic database, serial order is known before transaction execution. Based on this, we propose two novel optimizations for reducing contention. We call them batch appends and split on demand. Batch appends handles contention during execution. Spit on demand splits contended accesses and schedules them separately during execution. Here, let me show you how a basic deterministic concurrency control works. So we need to execute transactions concurrently while you ensure the outcome is still consistent with the serial order. Now, this requires knowing the conflicts before transaction execution so that we can execute these non-conflicting operations concurrently. We do this by batching transaction. So transactions are executing batch by batch. Inside each batch, there are two phases, initialization and execution. In the initialization phase, we use transactions write set to convert the transaction serial order into row level access order. So that in the execution phase, transactions are executed concurrently while simply ensuring the row level access order. In our work, we use multi-versioning to establish row level access order. For each transaction in the batch, we create pending versions for inserted row in the right set first. Now we do this because this allows us to determine the right set for range update operations. In this example here, T2 range update from R1 to R100. And then now T2 can simply do a scan in a database and it's gonna find R1 plus keep R3 and R5. After this, we can create pending versions for all updated rows in the right set. After we finish initialization, we can execute transactions in the batches concurrently. For each write operation, it's very simple. We simply fill the pending version with the actual value. But for read operation, we need to be careful here. Here, we can see that T2 and T3 had a conflict with T1 because T2 and T3 needs to read T1's update. So the way we handle this is that when T1, T2 and T3 execute concurrently, it's going to read version one. And if version one is still pending, it waits until version one has a value here. So when version one has a value, it means transaction one has finished so that T2 and T3 can execute 
in concurrently. T2 and T3 can exit concurrently because there is no conflicts between them. In a shared memory architecture, both these phases can be affected by contention. In the initialization phase, because we're appending versions concurrently, we may contend on the per row lock. However, we notice that in the initialization phase, appending version is a commutative operation. So our solution to this is to stash the append into a per core buffer. We only append to the row when the buffer is full or the end of the initialization phase. This optimization significantly reduces lock acquisition. In the execution phase, contention can also affect performance. Our observation is that only a small part of the transaction is actually contended. So our solution is to detect contended rows, split the access to contended rows and its dependent access into a separate piece. And then we schedule these contained pieces separately and run them on fewer cores to reduce contention. And of course, this scheduling must be done in a way that's load balanced so that we don't have any uh, load imbalance on the CPU. We evaluated our work uh, using highly contained workflows. We have a customized YCSV workload and a typical single warehouse TPCC workload. In both these workloads, our work performs significantly better than partition-based solutions. All partition-based solutions suffer significantly from skew. Our work handles, condition, handles contention well enough. In summary, we propose our solution, a shared memory deterministic database that avoids partitioning data. Our design is high performance and skill tolerant. We propose two novel techniques for handling contention, batch append, which reduces lock locking overhead for initialization and split on demand, splits and schedules the content pieces to reduce cross-processor traffic. <laughs> 